What's up everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffulis and today we'll be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Spider-Gwen from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is the exclusive version that you can get at Tamashi Nation's World Tour as of last year. Yes, I know, I am super late on this review. I am super, super sorry. I have so many figures on my backlog and I really just need to get through them. So I'm gonna try my best to muscle through a majority of the figures that I have in my backlog. But mostly, the reason why I'm reviewing her today is because I got the bootleg. So we're gonna review the bootleg in the next video. But, but for now, we're gonna review the real deal. So let's move these guys aside. And I'll tell you exactly how I feel about her right off the bat. This figure seems to be really fragile, and the reason for that is she's just really thin, and this isn't really the fault of SH Figure Arts, this is just how she's designed. Uh, we got a lot of really thin joints right here in the uh, uh, crotch area, the wrist, and some on the legs, but mostly in the wrist joints in the crotch area. So why am I bringing this up is, I have a lot of customers. When I sold this at dstartoys.com, the label search for awesome action figures, um, I, I had some complaints. I had some people breaking theirs, and in fact, I had to repair one. And I made a replacement uh, joint, leg joints, uh, for her because they snapped. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. That's bad QC. Uh, I had like three people tell me that there's broke um and that's not good so i don't know what's going on this one i have right here is the exclusive version this one didn't have any issues i didn't have any issues with mine but when the retail release came out i did like i said three people did contact me so that's unfortunate but we will look deeper in pain detail articulation and scale and accessories so i can assess the issue and i'll uh i guess i'll show you what i did well, I don't actually don't have the joints anymore because someone bought them. <laughs> because when he broke it, uh, shout out to Nick out there who uh, decided, hey, you know what? I want to pay top dollar to get mine repaired, so I repaired his Spider Gwen. But anyway, let's talk about paint and detail. Let's take her off the stand. Which, by the way, I realize the only difference between the full retail release and the exclusive, besides the box, is pretty much the stand, and, and that's about it. <laughs> So let's talk about this figure. I did love this movie. It's fantastic. Can't wait for the next one. And what I do love the most about this figure in particular is the texture. Now let's look real close right here. You can see that her suit is very textured. You could feel it when you touch the suit. It's just really, really nice. And I'm glad that they added that detail into it because it adds to the authenticity of the character from the movie. Really bright and vibrant pinks right here when we're looking at the forearms and also in the inside of the hood. The white is really, really nice as well. Excellent paint work by SH Figure Arts. No issues here when it comes to paint and detail. Um, I know we should probably talk about this in articulation, but there's something I just want to tell you. Unlike other spider people out there, this one for some reason doesn't like to kick uh, very well when it comes to the sidekick, right? And that's because of the way her joints are. Uh, usually Bandai has been incorporating a new type of joint which allows the leg to go all the way up. And this one is just the standard regular ball joints. They decided not to give her the brand new joints. I don't know why. Um, that's so unfortunate. The ball joint system is something that they're getting rid of, but they decided to keep it in the new Spider-Man line. And they are indeed paying for it because this is not very high when it comes to the sidekick. And this is a spider person. Come on. They, they, they got to have the most articulation. And speaking of articulation, let's go into articulation and scale. She is standing a little bit under six inches. And let's compare her to other action figures. Let's see what I got on my side table here. Speaking of exclusives, I believe this one was also part of the Tamashi Nation's World Tour. Here's that Goku. As you can see, these two work really, really well together. And let's get a Marvel Legends. Here is the new Marvel Legends Wolverine. Haven't reviewed this one, but I've been playing with it a lot. And just because the Patriot Studios Leon. So actually she scales really well 
with other action figures. So let's talk about articulation. We do have an up and down here at the toe. We have a really nice swivel right here at the ankle. Double jointed knee. Also, I think, yeah, so right here at the very top of her high tops, it does rotate. Actually, I don't think that was part of rotate. That's actually just the sleeve, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just a sleeve, so there is really good rotation there. We do have a thigh swivel extremely tight and of course like i said before we have the ball joint at the crotch um i think when people were breaking their spider gwen they were trying to move it all the way up and it actually adds tension to this right here and it just snaps and then there you go you have a broken gwen and i gotta fix it for you we have two um joints right here in the midsection for awesome ab crunch as you can see and really good rotation we have butterfly joints right here on the shoulder, bicep swivel right there. We have a double jointed elbow, ball and peg right here at the wrist, two joints at the neck looking to be 20, over 20 points of articulation. And let's, of course, because she's a superhero, we got to do the superhero landing pose, which she does really, really well. Unfortunately, no looking up here. I think we can do it when we look at the accessories. Uh, she does have a unmasked head. So let's do other things. Sure, we got a side kick there. Front kick right here. Really high front kick. Really like that. Flying knee. And of course, we got to do like a spider like pose, something like that. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the shore you can test. And there you have it. Speaking of shore you can, let's go to the top cam. Let's look here. Here's the box. Took the sleeve off. And this, I believe, should be a crime. And Spider Criminal has said it. What Spider-Man figure doesn't come with closed fist? Ah! She doesn't come with closed fist. Why? Why, why don't spy? Oh my gosh. You would think... SH Figure Arts would include that, considering that you get two, four, six, eight extra hands, and you don't get closed fists. This is as close as you're going to get right here. This is actually a web-holding hand. So if you thought, oh, yeah, it does, look at that. No, this is a web-holding hand. This is not a punch-you-in-the-face fist. And she punches so many people in the movie. What's up with that? Anyway, <laughs> we get the unmasked Gwen head. And we get three extra webs, and we get a squinty-eyed white masked head right here, which is really, really cool. Let's go to the front cam, and let's outfit her with this. So I really like this Gwen head right here. This is really good. This is really accurate to the movie. Look at that. Very beautiful. Love the skin tone. Love the eyes. You can even see the piercing right there in her eyebrow. eyebrow sorry. And we got the pink tips right there, which is really, really solid. This is just a really, really nice looking Gwen head, and I just love it. It's fantastic. Way better than what anyone else, in my opinion, has offered. Mafex, Marvel Legends, and stuff like that. This is easily my favorite. So let's remove this. Super easy to do. Pops right out. No issue right there. Oh, and we need the hood. So this is the hooded part, and it goes right there. And there you have it. Easy as that. The unmasked head, fantastic. Looks just like her. Uh, let's put this one on just in case. So this is the neck part actually comes off. It's a little bit tough to get out. Hold on one second. I do have a tool. It's just a wrench right here. I didn't want to pull it with my hands. All right, there you go. And so you put it on like this. And there you have it without the hood. And this one looks really, really cool. She's like squinting and stuff like that. And then we uh, get the stand right here, which is really nice. Now let's look at the webs. Like I said, what the heck? No fist hands. What the heck? And this is the web shooting hand. So let's look at the webs. And then we're going to outfit one of the webs. You get three different webs. You get a short one. You get a medium sized one. And then you get this one used for that fist hand, which isn't a punch hand, by the way. So let's outfit her with one of these. I gotta be really careful because that joint is extremely small, as you can see right here. 
Just look at that. See if we can focus up a little bit. Yeah, that is extremely fragile. I haven't. I think I've only got one person who told me that theirs broke. That's so unfortunate. Because this is a really cool figure. I like it. And then... Put this. Give me one second, I'll outfit her. Okay, here we go. And there she is. Shooting those webs. Very, very cool. Alright, I think that's a... About it I guess we'll, we'll we'll I'll put this one on in the the end of the video uh, when I do the showcase so let's talk about the SH figure arts let's come with a final thoughts uh, conclusion here is she worth the money when she I think when she was released she was about $70 yes I think this is easily worth it it's really cool really good looking lots of accessories with the exception of the closed fist hand what the heck um, that's not cool this is a really good figure no issues here. A little bit pricey, but you know what? That's what I call the Marvel tax. If you notice, everything that is Marvel related will always be a little bit higher in cost. So that's, uh, yeah, she's a little bit pricey. And I don't, I actually, now that I think about it, I think the World Tour version might actually be worth more. And we are sold out at www.dstartoys.com. Your label source for awesome action figures. Unfortunately, she's out of stock and no longer in print. So. Uh, get, her, get her while you can. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so everybody doesn't know when I post new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.